My name is Michelle and this is my friend Christopher and his mom Christina. Hi. We know that having surgery, even talking about it, is sometimes scary. And we don't want you to worry. So, we are going to show you some people, places, and things you might see on your day of surgery at University of Iowa Children's Hospital. What do you think, Christopher? Should we get started with our tour? Okay. All right, let's go. Your pre-surgery packet will tell you which elevator to take. There are signs on the walls with maps. They will show you where you are standing and how to find the elevator you want. The elevator should be easy to find. The pre-surgical packet will also tell you where to go to register after your elevator ride. So, your parents will want to bring your pre-surgical packet to the hospital. When you get to the registration desk, someone will ask a few questions. Getting registered will not take very long, and then you can find a chair in the waiting area. In a few minutes, someone will come to walk you to another place called pre-operative care. It's just a place where you get ready for surgery. You can take two adults with you to the pre-op area, and they can stay with you all day, except in the operating room. You can take your favorite toy or blanket with you. In the pre-op room, you will put on hospital pajamas. Then, a nurse will put a bracelet on your arm. It says who you are, and it has important information for the nurses. You will wear it until you go home. The nurse will ask more questions, like, have you had anything to eat eight hours before you came to the hospital? This is very important because your tummy has to be empty to have surgery, so you won't get sick. Also, the nurse will put a cuff on your arm to take your blood pressure. When they put it on your arm and press the button, it might make a funny noise, but it just gives your arm a big hug. It doesn't hurt. The nurse may do things like weigh you and measure you to see how tall you are. They will take your temperature and listen to your heart. The nurse will put a special wrap on your finger. It has a red light. It's not hot. It's kind of neat. It glows. Next might be the intravenous line. Can we call it an IV? It's easier. Lots of people call it that. Okay. This IV is very important because it gives your body fluids. Drinks. And medicine while you are in surgery. And maybe for a while after your surgery. Giving your body fluids and medicine through this tube will help you get better faster so you can go home. Sometimes they place it in the back of your hand, sometimes in your arm. The doctor will decide where and if your IV will be placed in the pre-op area or in the operating room after you are already resting. In the operating room is when they usually do it. I had mine here. To help hold the IV in place, they will tape it there with special hospital tape. A nurse may also show you a paper with a lot of funny faces. They will ask you to point to the face that shows if you are feeling pain or how much pain you might be feeling. They will show you this paper again after your surgery. After your nurse is all done, an anesthesiologist, a special kind of doctor, the sleepy time doctor, will help you get a very special kind of rest during your surgery. It is their job to make sure you won't feel or remember anything that happens during surgery. They will show you a mask and show you how to breathe with it on. It's really easy. It's just in and out, in and out. After you have practiced using the mask a few times, the anesthesiologist will talk to you and your parents about your surgery, which will start soon. This is a great time to ask questions about your surgery, if you have any left. Then it is time to say see you later to your parents, just for a little while. Don't worry, your parents won't be going very far. Next, you will go to the operating room. And your parents will go to the day of surgery lounge to leave a cell phone number or get a pager. The pager will work for them anywhere in the hospital. And someone will call their cell phone or buzz the pager to let them know when your surgery is over. Christopher, this is called an operating room, or some people call it the OR. This is the room where they will be doing your surgery. In the operating room, there will be some big lights. I see them. During your surgery, they will help the doctor see. There will also be some machines. They look kind of like computers. They help the doctor and nurses during surgery too. To help keep the operating room extra clean, all the people in here will be wearing special clothes we call scrubs. And everyone in the room will have a mask to wear when surgery starts. 
In this room, the doctor will bring you a mask like the one we saw earlier. Remember, breathing into the mask is really easy and very soon you will feel kind of sleepy. And when you wake up, your surgery is all done. When the surgery is over, the pager will buzz or their cell phone will ring, telling your parents to go back to the day of surgery lounge. When they get there, they will be told where to go to meet with your doctor. While you are waking up in the recovery room, the doctor will tell your parents how your surgery went, answer their questions, and discuss your care. You won't remember or feel anything after you breathe into the mask for a few minutes until you are taken to the wake up or recovery room. It takes a little while for you to become wide awake and while you are waking up, a nurse will be with you, checking things like your blood pressure and your pulse. The recovery area is a very busy place, but your nurse will be checking on you often. Remember the chart with the silly faces? After your surgery, a nurse will show it to you again. You can point to the face that you think shows how you are feeling after your surgery. This will let the nurse know if you are feeling any pain. Before long, you'll look up and your parents will be with you again. Well, Christopher, I think we have explained a lot of what happens on someone's day of surgery. What do you say we say goodbye and head home? Wait, Michelle, when do kids get to go home after surgery? Well, the doctor will have to decide, and it depends on a lot of things. Like what? Well, it'll depend on what kind of surgery you had, what needs to be done to help you get better, and even how you're feeling. But everyone will stay in the post-op or recovery care area for a little while. The wake-up room. Yes. When you're wide awake, if the doctor says it's okay for you to leave, the nurse will come in and tell your parents how to care for you at home. And you can go home the same day you had your surgery. But some kids have to stay in the hospital for a little while. If this is what the doctor thinks is best for you, you'll be taken to a room where you can spend the night or maybe a few days. Your mom or dad can stay with you in this room. You can have a sleepover right in your hospital room. We hope that the people, places, and things that we have shown you today will help you feel more comfortable about your day of surgery. Okay, Christopher, now that ends our tour. Do you have anything else you want to say to our friends? Just like when I had my surgery, there will be lots of nice people 